Welcome back. Let's uh, go into the lineups of the two teams that we have for. We have UD West 1 versus Army Geniuses. It's uh, our second game of the day. Either way, though, mid lane going okay for the TA. Uh, I feel like you should lose the lane, but probably not heavily, and this is this is how it should go, though, with Joe Cam rotating. Fearless in a lot of trouble. He's staying near the tower. That's gonna help him armor-wise, but health-wise, nothing is gonna help him because he was already super low. Can he at least get a Rune for the Snapfire? Yeah, it's done. Uh, it is going to be on the top lane, which is quite big. There will be a trap on Bumbui. That's a zero armor hero versus a TA. So good luck surviving through all of the physical damage. But it won't even be needed. Aww. The trap damage will finish him off. TA in a lot of trouble with the Mortimer's Kisses and the Purifying Flames. Just put him down low enough for Lion X to get one more right click in and finish him off. Yeah, I I kind of have to agree. The, you know, sure, Tiny has some zoo control, but it is really not that much as mid lane. Iowa yeah. getting engaged by three heroes, four heroes yeah. actually. He should be dead, especially with the blood grenade connecting. He tried to dodge there with the melt, but the second he comes out, the purifying flames is there to finish him off. I guess during this laning stage, transition period due to the mid game, it's fine. Speaking about being fine, DB definitely is not. There's also a chrono available if you want to use it, but Lion X continues to do Oracle things. Very, very true. And at least Ayo has some pretty solid stacks to work with here. Gets the large ones, but no, because there's two Chrono, you gotta be careful defending this. Oh, very, very careful. And there's gonna be bashes coming in. The disruption comes out in time, so he's gonna say, look at him. He made an 8 there. So, uh, nice bait, mate. That's what he was looking for. And, uh, oh, they have? UD was the one. Are they getting baited in with the Lycan coming in? Might be the case, but boy, zero armor still. They're thinking about using the Doom. Not gonna be happening. And DB has come to the world of the living. Joe Kim finally will be going down. The smoke does absolutely nothing. How did you think that was gonna work when the real wolf was coming over? And the second that his hunger is satiated with the two supports, he will go back to his man form. Uh, the, the KNP Chronosphere on the Bat Rider, I think that was not great. Because Doom actually was holding his Doom for so long. Yeah, he actually has a kill now. So I really like how BB was patient, but TNP, you know, if he actually played with his friends there, I don't think Lycan would have got those two kills. Wouldn't be forced to buy back Oracle. And now, Spiral is very low, but at the same time, they got a Doom on the TA. I guess they're gonna secure the Ancients, but what a fail. TA is fine. Fearless is the one yeah. dead. Lion X, he didn't use his ulti. He could have saved his body, and the TA is coming back. You are gonna be doomed. The Doom tossed oh. away, but it doesn't matter. Jokem is fast enough. There will be an Oracle ulti. Healing BB quite a lot. The thing is, can they get on top of him? Lion X, that's gonna be a dieback. Dead for 50 seconds. The Avalanche from Tiny keeping them away. The Melt Strike up from the low ground will not connect. The Zero Armor Tiny. Yeah, I definitely don't like crispy cookies, you know, there's there's crazy people. Oh, nice doom here on the like that's out of position. Yeah, he's looking like he's in Ooh. trouble, but he will be fast, even in his uh, human form. Yeah, he bro, does, no. he's able to get out. Yeah, they don't want to use the hurl, like two ulties is too much, but if you don't use them, you're not going to be getting a single kill. The disruption onto himself there from the Shadow Demon, the lasso, not going to be doing that much as... Uh, Nobody is still dead. Finally, the Chrono does come out and the Lycan goes into it. I want to be stuck in time as well. Or he maybe just wants to smack down KMP who gets himself away there from the double strike of the Echo Saber. As uh, no shapeshift on the Lycan, so he can't really do all that much. DB in a lot of trouble. The Atos does connect. The Cookie, nice move there from DB. But either way, he's not going to be getting out of that one alive. Fights and until there's a little fire. It will be a very, uh, you know, reliable way to keep everyone alive. I honestly wouldn't even mind just like more armor items coming from him. Maybe uh, Greaves wouldn't be bad as we do see the Bat Rider dying here. Yeah, great presence here from UDV knowing that this could be happening. And okay, now the Inv is on Snapfire. Hello. They found him. Yeah, he always in a lot of trouble. The Doom will get used in the Chrono as well. They're gonna use everything. He doesn't have a buyback. The Mortimer's Kisses, they won't be dead. I don't know if he used the Surge there, but probably not gonna be good if he did. They did get the uh, Shadow Demon ulti as well as DB is surviving, but the Bashes will keep him in place. That wall was placed nicely, but you do not have the damage without two of your cores. Where's the Lycan? He's coming from the side. His team definitely he needs him, but he's not gonna have too many teammates to play with. He tried to finish off the tiny, not gonna be happening. That armor from the Grow coming in handy as Verish underneath the strength of the spaces void. The time dilation now will be slowing him down even further, but finally it will expire, allowing him to escape. But it's a great fight for UD Wezuan. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. They also lost uh, the TA once again, right? So 
three deaths already, but at least she has that second life. <laughs> <laughs> Something that does absolutely nothing for you other than giving more network for Boo Boo to give away to the opponents. Oh yeah, that's sad. His buyback is just gonna be more expensive now. I think you get a good lasso, but this dude's tanky. Uh, he is, uh, he's not that tanky though, but with your ult, he'll be able to survive. As Gampy goes forward, he's thinking about the Chrono BB took a lot of damage, but look at the Lycan just slaughtering the backline. His face is void, doesn't know what to do, and the Doom will fall down either way. The promise was most definitely false, as he did not survive through it. UD was the one. They're gonna be trying to go for more. The silence from the uh, TA not gonna be coming out. He doesn't activate the trap in time. Okay, he's just playing around with the enemies. That's gonna be the second buyback of the Oracle for this game in 23 minutes. This time around, at least he's gonna deter his opponent. They're not gonna force smokes like that one, you know, they're not going to waste time. Because it very, it's very easy to waste time when you're five many. Now they're forcing this, but uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna find anything. So at the end of the day, Army Geniuses, I think they're still... They're still in a pretty good position. They even want to go for this. Okay. Well, immediately. They stop the lasso immediately. So Fearless will be fine. Joe Kim, he tried to be faster. But he knew that the Oracle was behind. Given that the Fortunes then would use the science onto the faces. Void. Nice blink out. DB running in. He wants the vacuum onto the two of them. The wall will be placed immediately. They do him. Uh... But he already used the spells. BB making a huge mistake. He's going to be demonically purged. And now you do not have the False Promise any longer. He can't put anything on him. He's just going to be destroyed. The Chrono coming out a little bit too late. But the disruption. You need to save that for the TA. You didn't want to save him, but it doesn't matter. Yo, he gets the BKB off standing his ground. Has the refraction charges. What now, KMP? Oh, no. up and destroyed a double kill for Barish. As Fearless is running into a trap. It's a trap, Fearless. He had the Manta to get to the high ground there with the cookie, but it doesn't matter. In the end, the hits from Yoi will be chasing him forever. As Lion X, he doesn't have anyone else to save. And he's going to be dying himself. There are those attacks onto the traps, denying them, but also doing massive amounts of damage to the guys behind them with the side blades as army geniuses win a convincing fight. Yeah, that's some big miscommunication there. As the Void Time walks back, the Doom moves forward and gets the Doom off. So, <laughs> that uh, you can't get more miscommunicated than that. And it, it just destroyed your ankles. I think you probably have to eat your losses there and back off. But then they get the late Chrono. And it was just not enough damage. Sure, you kill. I think it was the Shadow. Does he you have the Harpoon? Fight. Okay, he, he didn't. He wants the Harpoon first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he does. Have that queued up. DB. Oh, vacuum. Nice vacuum onto the high ground. The face is void. Time dilation onto multiple people. He has really good uh, idea what's happening in the fight. The Doom TA doesn't BTA? care. The, okay. He tried to finish off the Doom. Didn't manage to do it. But his BKB is, was still up. In the end, he should be able to fall through this one. Doesn't have a buyback. Won't be coming back into the fight. The cookie there saving BB for the time being. But in your dream, he's going to be turning on to Fearless, who has been demonically purged. And he will be taken down. That's a very fast Dark Seer there with the Surge. But the time dilation will be a problem for him. No. He removes it there with the Guardian Greaves. KMP goes to the other side. He wants to finish off Fairish first. But he will be protecting himself there with the... Uh, Disruption. The illusions now, they might confuse them a little bit. He has the Glimmer Cape and the Surge with the uh, nice vacuum. BB in a lot of trouble, but he's running away for the Lycan who doesn't have his wolf form any longer. The time dilation is going to slow him down. He's going to be needing another Surge if he wants to escape, but the Glimmer Cape will be enough. They don't use the Surge. They are going to be saving it, kiting the face is void. This is not an easy. Yeah, I don't know. This is just ring around the <laughs> rosy. They're all chasing each other, but nobody is going to be dying in the end. BB finally he does have a time dilation on himself. Can't be going to be tossed towards him, but the disruption will be keeping their way. They don't have the vision and this Glimmer Cape is destroying them. Varish, stop doing it to them. It is just not fair. The Bat Rider is back to the world of the living, meaning they can't be. He could be in trouble. Where's the ulti from the Oracle? He's oh, going to be no. removing that immediately. He does have an Olaf. He's not really going to be healing up. He needs to run away. He needs the lifesteal. He needs more and he will be surviving a literally zero HP. Now finally, he yeah, does have the time with the vacuum. Finally comes in again and the wall is back up. His KMP is still alive. Turning back time to go to the other side and very still not team. Finally, they do have the dust to see him, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna live. Here comes the TA, not doomed any longer because he has gone to hell and went back into a fight now, ready to destroy his enemies. They will be TPing out, and that was the longest fight of the tournament. This is it suddenly an 11 week old lead? Uh, just a really good play for Marmigius. Kent 
really take anything away from them as they, you know, they're gonna get a doom on the darks here. Is he baiting them into a bad position, into a trap as well? We do not have the Oracle ulti, so BB is in a ton of trouble. Maybe the both offlaners are gonna die right now. The Nullifar does connect. The Oracle is trying to heal him, but that's not gonna work versus the Nullifar. As in your dream, he does way too much damage. I always stand by my analysts and the, if I'm doing the analysis of with my uh, colleagues, cause uh, that's what that's what good friends do. Fearless, he will be getting a shard. So that cookie now, it is uh, gonna be packing a little bit more of a punch, but they go in. I that's gonna cookie. be the, oh, Lanex? Who did he use his ulti oh on? The Doom will be used onto the Darkseer after he has already gotten the initiation in KMP, drops uh... on the Chrono and he has to run. This is a disaster for them. This might actually open up the high ground, considering that you still have the Aegis, you still have the cheese, and your all five of your heroes are alive without the Doom, without the False Promise, no more to miss kisses and no chronosphere because now even without that ages i think they have the the costumes moving forward here nice have a toss Avalanche toss he still has the bkb didn't need to use it earlier the vacuum oh is gonna God. be huge they're just destroying them db tries to run away he'll be fine the disruption saving him too they do have a buyback on the tiny if he wants to come back into the fight the tower has fallen tier three no longer gonna be here stopping army geniuses to go for their axes you just have to reduce this overwhelming physical damage that they have, but it still doesn't feel like it's enough. That chrono usage really made things hard. Yeah, it, like, it, technically he should have enough DPS. Okay, did you get the false promise here? Chrono is back he up got in five. Silenced up. Oh, he got silenced up again. He needs to jump out. Okay, now he's going to be healing up and more than enough there with the false promise. Oh my to survive God. barely. Chrono gets to oh, survive it this no. time around. It's not going to work. Stuck in time, but just after he has slain the faces void and going for BB, he's gonna be next on the menu. They use the disruption just for a little bit of a kick there. We're gonna allow you to live for 2.5 seconds longer, but we have a hungry rabbit dog who is ready to eat all of you. He already got a triple kill. He wants an ultra there. There will be an avalanche slowing him down, and Yoi will take that one away from him. Not a good teammate whatsoever. DB will be the one to clear the fifth kill there for his team as UD was the one aware that this game is over they raised the fight with the white flag and tap out of game number one potentially the last time of the day here if uh, UD was the one do not manage to take game number two off army geniuses you know even the duration level one three seconds it's not uh, you know, trample less almost six it, it, it's really awkward for life stealer but you know he's gonna get boots he's going to uh, probably play for a lot of region I wonder whether he's going to be able to get away with his Midas, though. Uh, first we'll blood. see how the lane develops as first blood in the top lane. And Campy is low as well in terms of mana, so he's the one that needs to be careful. Only three wand charges, so... Yeah, you can do so usually has kind of a slow start, but uh, at least the other cores are, are doing quite well, both the Primal and uh, Ember in the top course, yes. And speaking about the Ember, oh. he gets the kill on Yoi. This time around, it is going to be UD was the <laughs> one that get the first kill there in the mid lane. And there's a fight top here with this rune spawning. Mm, Lionx is taking a ton of damage here. Has to be careful. Joken can finish him off as Lionx doesn't have his spells. And Ember does come over there. He won't be saving his buddy, but at least he's going to be getting a freebie there next to his lane. You need a couple of levels. You need a couple of items. The threads are not even completed for KNP. Eight minutes into the game. This is like... I'm devastated territory as the runes is gonna spawn and it is stopped. Oh, the arrow does not connect. They turn around onto Boom Boy. That Melt Strike, it really does hurt. Fearless is very slow and he's gonna be going into the fire. He is oh the spirit my. of the flame. So maybe he can live through the burn, but through the right clicks of Yoi, he cannot. And now the stop coming in. It's not gonna be connecting onto BB as they open up a portal and they're gonna be bringing in their big guns as well. DB, he wants to take down this four legged creature that for now will be getting himself away. And the Lord, he's gonna have his ulti in 30 seconds again a little bit lacking in mana and now they're bringing in four heroes they really want db dead the only one here is the bat rider and i don't think he's gonna be saving him i mean you talked about the tankiness of the underlord but when met with four heroes he is uh he's just as dead so <laughs> it's definitely a hard game here for kmp okay. they need to enable other cores oh yeah what the oh, hell actually, these griefs are killing what? everything he died to the firefly yeah, he died to the Firefly and uh, Joe Kim died to Fearless. So I I don't know how many of those the uh, the Path Rider got because him and the Primal Beast, they kind of have the same color. Uh, they actually stacked by by, uh, by accident there, so that's pretty good. As Lion X, very low. Can't be dead. 
Uh, he needs oh. one more hit. No. Oh, two, two more seconds, and he's gonna have a wand there on the Medusa. He's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. On the other hand, though, Yoi is not fine at all. DB in trouble. There's a stun on KMP, and he's. What's happening to Varish? Like, he's tickling this Medusa. And yeah, opponent? He has two points on Echo Storm, so he didn't have the max extra spirit, and they're gonna lose this TA. I mean, somehow UDV doing kind of what Army Genesis was doing, just baiting and uh, splitting the fight up. Right now, at least he can hit creeps. Yeah, I mean, he's level 9 already, has max split shot, has max mystic snake. He is, you know, on a path to recovery here. As we see the kisses. Oh, with the pulverize. How did he got canceled? I guess. Uh, flame break. Yeah, flame break coming in handy. Joe Kim, he needs to uh, run away. He is pretty fast now, especially once the uh, tranquil boots do kick in. So his movement speed is there. But BB doesn't mean that he wants to let him go. He is looking for this kill. And considering that his spells are back up, he might just actually get it. Joe Kim? Yeah, he's fine. Pulverize, not available, but the arrow is. The second that they found him, it was easy for that arrow to connect on a target that is just TPing away. That's a Dennis Ember going up the high ground here against the TA, very scary. And I think she will start knocking on those life stealer's door in terms of net worth. It's just uh, not a fair competition, that's okay. BB, onslaught. Mr. Brew gets picked up by BB. He did, he did get it. And he's going through the portal. Does he escape? No, the Earth Splitter does finish him off. And now they get a bonus. So in the end, it might not be as worth it. Considering that you lost two of the heroes. And BB did have a dominating spree. As they find the Underlord. Pretty tanky boy, but way too much damage. Uh, they should have enough. He did pop the pipe there. He's still surviving. The TPs are coming in. It's not too much damage. When Lion X, he lost... His, uh, his Mortimer's Kisses, and the second that Mortimer's Kisses stop, DB stopped taking any damage. Alright, the is very again. early. They will get the kill later, though. Can the Primal survive the arrow? Oh, that arrow changes everything. Primal Beast would have died 100% there with the Cool Frenzy slow, but he does manage to get himself away. Yep, I mean, uh, it's better than a BKB, right? Especially in this game. BB has the BKB. It's not gonna help you against the last one. Lioness comes to the low ground, but the Emberfit is doing so change. much damage. Nice and fast into Varish. He's gonna save him and the Lifestealer as well. Though I'm not sure this Lifestealer, he might need some help. He's gonna be running away. We'll have the Rage fairly soon, so decide not to chase, especially with the Ember not having any mana. But look at the TA oh, coming from so the though. other side. Oh, he used the trap a little bit late there. So they will be finishing off Lion X, but Fearless will not get caught. The arrows. Pretty much on point here. Uh, the magic resistance taken away with the radius it actually makes a lot of sense. Is oh, the game the dead? In IOE. I... No, the pipe. I'll be fine. I don't know. In the end, they're gonna have more than enough heroes. We talked about UDS1 bringing a lot of heroes, and they're gonna do it again. But the Mirana used all of her leap charges, and look at the lives that are going forward. Fearless is gonna be getting slowed down. BB as well, but he's not doing that much damage. The BKB is gonna be used by BB. He does have the infest, so will be protected by DB himself. And this is the best guy to infest. The, the stomp will be connecting onto Lion X, and the sleep is still there. Even on the Primal Beast, Varish needs to be blocking him a little bit, but not gonna be enough for the Pit of Malice to connect. And with that, at least the cores of UDS1 will pale. I mean, I think you might try to use this butterfly to poke at uh, their attempt at Roshan. I, I still feel like if they can pick a good fight there, if they can maybe immobilize one or two heroes, you can... Oh, okay, I'm all die soft. IP, you don't kill this guy. He is just way too tanky. He's actually baiting you in KMP. He used the Manta, meaning that the silences are going to be a big problem in the Pit of Malice as well. Goes for the Stone oh, no. Gaze. Will be slowed down. Joker will be pushing him back, but they have the cookie. So, a little bit of pinball there play with the Medusa. But they open up a portal. They still want to be chasing, especially with the Life Stealer coming from the side. He went through the Twin Gates. Now going to be using the Rage. Think about going in. Not going to be happening. He's around the TA, being ready to save her with the Infest if need be. It seems like they're oh, putting the episode, saving their guys rather than killing people but KMP no TP for you Lasso does come out and he will be accepting his destiny which will be that the butterfly doesn't really help you much utility in these fights as they will play Roche or IO I I'm very glad I'm not an analyst in this game because I would really hate it if my caster would ask me what's the play here for you was one because to be honest I don't know and you're gonna be the one that has to answer that question for me at least the underlord maybe okay that Roach kill, some takeoffs, and just the fact that everyone else is in damage control. They do get the orb, he's there on the left side, he doesn't have the Aegis. Is this enough damage with the arrow? He's dead. 
He's dead. They just barely kill him. He almost got the Rage and Fest into the Underlord, but even that, I'm not sure, would have changed all that much. DB will be the second casualty as uh, Arrow flies out, but coming onto the high ground, that was a big mistake. Yo, he does more than enough damage to get at least a Constellation Prize. So, even though Aegis is inside of Army Genesis, we finally see an aggressive move here from the DB. At least, like, in the entire game, Orchid with the damage. Oh, this guy's so uh, tanky, man. Yeah, but he's, he's gonna have the card degrees. They can't have to kill him before that. Oh, they no. don't manage to do it. He's alive, and they have the force left to keep him alive as well. Who has the infest? He is still living through it all. And now you're gonna be disarmed onto the Medusa. So think about it going in. BB decides what? to turn it onto the other side. It was like, nope, I don't wanna go this way. KMP, now he's all alone. Where are my teammates? Help me, please. But they're looking at him, meaning they're gonna be turning into stone. As Joe Cam is on the other side, they want to kill him first because the last one will definitely keep them in a fast spot. The Orchid will make sure that he can get his spells off and he's just running away from his team. Look at this. You will think you're the Weather One were oh! sandwiched and they are, but they need to be killing this battery. He gets himself to the side. He might actually get in close to the Primal Beast asleep onto KMP, losing all of his mana, and now he's gonna be losing all of his life. He actually uses his sticks, and all of the cores went away from him, so he just isn't dying to the right things of these two, but finally his mana is out again, and with a healing Lotus, they're still keeping him alive for how long, though? Not for long. The arrow will only connect onto the creeps, into the jungle, and UD Wesson one will lose two cores and a grandma on top of it, while Army Geniuses, they lose a Batrider who was 1% HP for the entirety they will pay a hefty price for it. Ah, these Raxes are looking very much dead. You have the AC, you have the Deso, and even this Underlord's damage, it is not to be underestimated. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely... This is already in a pretty dire situation. Waiting is not gonna help as they try to get this Underlord, but we've seen this movie and now they have less numbers. Ah, uh, the Life Slayer is coming over. They will stop that when the Silence comes out. Immediately, you didn't pop the BKB. That's gonna cost you Polarizers. Get stopped. Mortimer's Kisses just aren't gonna be doing enough damage. Maybe going for Rares and Fest onto him fast. will That'd make so him super much alive. He's super fast. His Spirit comes back in. The Arrow will connect on him. Maybe they can finally kill at least this position 5, but they're losing their Ember. He got Silence stopped there by the trap. Having that Orchid, you might be silencing us, but we have even more traps set for you. Lysdale well, will get turned to stone. He will have a rage in six seconds. Look at the TA jumping into the back lines. He will get disarmed, oh. smashed into the ground. He doesn't have the refractions. He got stunned as well by the arrow, but is it going to be enough to kill him? Finally, they bring him down, but it's only going to be the Medusa left alone in this world. They buy back. He needs some help. Jokem is taking no damage. The Medusa is tickling everybody. He needs that MKB because he just cannot attack. He gets some mana back from the Mystic Snake, but ultimately, his life will be taken inside of the Pit of Malice. This is going to be your burial ground. Can't be. They're trying to eat him up, but here comes the Moonlight Channel protecting oh. them. Goddess Salimene is on the side of UD Westwood. They prayed to the right gods and the Marana finally came in with that Moonlight Shadow saving KMP. The damage from uh, UD was one might not be high. A lot for that. They bought buy back the Primal and you're probably giving away Roche as well unless they feel like they can contest this. I'm not sure they can though. Okay. Oh, nice oh, arrow no. connecting. He didn't get the lasso off. Joe Cam is looking very much dead. The lights that are going forward there with the rage doing a lot of damage. Bumbui will get himself away with the leaves. A slide of fist chains connecting onto the life cylinder. It will be removed very soon. He has that status resistance. The Medusa makes her presence known. Linux tries to force himself out. Not going to be happening with the Nullifier, but he's just enough. Silence. The Lancers cannot get away. He will get an Orchid. That's a beautiful flower that was given to him, but he doesn't like it. He gets himself away. He has the infest if he wants to heal up. They will turn Varish into stone, but he will be infested as well, trying to stomp the ground there to sleep his enemies. Sleeping on the job, they're not going to be doing that for long, as Varish will be taken down. BB nullified is very low, but the Pulverize is keeping alive. The arrow connects onto the life in the sides as well. Is this finally him going down? Yes, it is. 90 seconds on the sidelines. DB going into the portal, and he will not oh! be stopped. Lion X doesn't get there in time. But All of the other damage these other heroes are bringing is enough to take him down, especially when they're separated now they have DB alive and he's trying to delay this but 50 seconds for the last sealer is this enough we'll see we'll see if that's uh, gonna be enough they're really trying to delay that roche and really isn't dying as we're still watching the previous fight here on the screen but we should be getting ourselves into the live action fairly soon to see what's happening there because the fight is brewing but it is not gonna be a starting just yet roche actually <laughs> Just Left. ditch out of that like guys. Nope. I don't want I don't want any part in this Yeah, screw you guys. I'm going home and he will be going to his other home on the top part of the map as Army geniuses they will follow you they decided that you die wherever you are in the world They will track you down 
sweet, sweet violence. That's what the life stealer says. Is they get the Roche. Medusa does have an MKB, whilst DA has one, but the life stealer he doesn't have his just yet, so he is still gonna be missing quite a lot. Oh, last one ever. That's a huge one. If they can finish him off, they have the Nullifier on him as well inside of the Pit of Malice. He has the BKB, will be surviving through it. The uh, DA gonna be caught. He has the cheese, so even if he gets low, he's gonna be fine. BKB is still active. Life Stealer in a little My. bit of trouble. He still has the Aegis. Let's see if they can kill him at least once. No infest on him. There's gonna be a big sleep. They have the Pit of Malice onto the four of them. Fed the cookie onto the Ember, meaning that he's gonna live through it all. Life Stealer super low, low, but they're not doing any damage to him any longer. KMP is gonna be disarmed. Give me that bow here. You're not gonna be shooting any more arrows onto us as they're looking towards BB as well who gets fed another cookie they're trying to escape beauty was one but they have gotten sleepy it was so hard it took them so long to stay in this game and now they don't have the energy to continue play like this matters so much the Dusa that was no buyback bought out for the MPB and I I don't they don't have the firepower this is way too much now it looks easy. Now it looks easy. Now it looks like the game is over. Joe Cam, you mentioned that he did so well. They will buy back on the Ember, but he has the Force Staff and the Lotus Sword protection there to keep him alive. A beautiful stomp and an even more beautiful Pit of Malice, making sure that the hero that just bought back gave his money to be back in the game. It's just gonna be money wasted. Yeah, Army Geniuses, they do take this too well. Very, uh, I mean, very impressive performance by them. You know, a couple of hiccups here and there, but uh, I think that's actually UDV playing well more than, you know, uh, mistakes really coming from Army Genesis.